Streaming live, this is News Nation Now. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Ji Suki. Here are your top headlines on this Tuesday. First, an update on a story we brought you as breaking news yesterday morning. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the government's top infectious diseases expert, calls the latest vaccine results, quote, truly striking. Executives with the biotech company Moderna said yesterday, data shows its COVID-19 vaccine appears to be 94.5% effective. Now we are learning dry ice could be critical to coronavirus vaccine distribution. The Georgia Secretary of State is asking the Floyd County elections manager to step down after 2,600 ballots weren't uploaded to the state's computer system on election night. Floyd County is in the northwest part of the state. Adding the votes bumped President Trump's total, about 800 votes, but not enough to pass President-elect Joe Biden in the state's tally. Happening today, President-elect Joe Biden will receive a national security briefing. President Trump has no public events scheduled, but a federal judge in Pennsylvania will hear arguments in a lawsuit from the Trump campaign that seeks to prevent state election officials from certifying the voting results. Here's what else we're watching. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey are set to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee today about censorship. And in an unfortunate one-two punch, Hurricane Iota slammed into Central America as a Category 4 storm along almost the exact same stretch that was devastated by Hurricane Eta nearly two weeks ago. The National Hurricane Center said Iota made landfall in Nicaragua with maximum sustained winds of 155 miles per hour late last night. Four astronauts have arrived at the International Space Station. SpaceX's newly launched Dragon capsule pulled up and docked late Monday night following a 27-hour completely automated flight from NASA's Kennedy Space Center. The three Americans and one Japanese astronaut on board will remain at the orbiting lab until the spring. And trending incredible video shows the moment a man used martial arts to help save a baby from being kidnapped. It happened last week in Madison Square Park in Manhattan. Brian Kemsley brought the man to the ground and used his martial arts skills to hold the suspect there until police arrived. That is apparently called a seatbelt hold. You can see the full video and hear from the hero himself on NewsNationNow.com or on our NewsNationNow app, which is free to download, by the way. For now, I'm G. Thanks so much for watching. Stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. And also, please be sure to sign up for our newsletter. Have a great day, everybody.